Hello and welcome. If you're looking for a quick and easy way to color grade your iPhone footage in DaVinci Resolve, then you are watching the right video. Let's head over to the computer and get things started. Okay, here we are in DaVinci Resolve and I am on the edit page and I have a clip that I just taken Let's drop that into the timeline. This footage is from the iPhone, iPhone 12, uh, that I just shot this afternoon uh, uh, around sunset time. There's many ways of editing or color grading uh, footage. The title of this video is simple and easy. This, to me, I find it is, is the most uh, simplest way and the easiest way. So um, first I pick uh, from the, the the footage that I have, I would pick a shot that I would like to work on. Let's uh, start from here. This is where all the color is compared to the rest of the, the footage. So I would like to um, color grade this area here. Now, um, let's move right into the color page. And now, uh, just add a serial note here. Just right click on it and then just go to add and then add serial. And I always start with using the second uh, note. Um, and um, the most simplest way is just to grab this auto balance. Okay, I just click auto balance. And right away, you could see that the color is more vivid and uh, a, a bit more contrast than before. Here I take a look at the scope here and I find that the, the red's a little high, the green and the blues are, are really low. So what I like to do is to bring the, the blue back up a little bit, okay? And to do that, I just go to uh, the, the gamma and the gain just to bring that to the blue. So just bring the blue up a little bit. As you can see, when I pull the blue up, okay, to about six, you can see some of the blues are, are coming back, okay? And maybe a little bit on the gain as well. Uh, maybe around six as well, okay? And then it, it's a little, you know, little pull, little push. Uh, that's how you do it, okay? To your to your liking, you know, what whatever way it works. Now, I've, I want to make it even more contrast than this. So I would use the, the curve. I always like to bring um, this area down to about there. Make sure the, 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 the blacks are, are dark, okay? And then always like to um, bring this middle section up a little bit. So you could see this is like a S curve, okay? It's S curve. And I'm kind of happy with this. Let's uh, play the clip and see. Yeah, well, I think it's a little bit too blue around this area. So. Uh, because the blue is, is so high here, I'm just going to bring blue back down to uh, uh, maybe around three. But I think the highlight could be a little bit more blue. Uh, maybe like that. Okay. Yeah. And just add a little bit more contrast, like that. Yeah, I think it needs to go maybe a little bit darker. So it's it's you know a tiny little bit adjusting here, a little bit there, never too uh, never too much. All right, I'm kind of happy with this. So. Uh, let's take this off. So this is before and this is after. Okay, before and after. Okay, I'm just going to render it out and then you'll see the finished product afterwards.
Well, that's it for this video. If you find this video helpful, please click the like button below so YouTube can share it with more people. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And remember to click the bell so you'll be notified next time I upload a new video. Thanks again for watching. And remember, keep on filmmaking and have fun creating. Bye for now.